guys, this is Mickey from Funhouse Fibers, and I'm here to show you another fun technique to try on your midi spinner. So today I'm going to show you how to spin fun fur. Uh, fun fur is a really cool technique. Um, you have seen commercial yarns which are fun fur. Some people call this hand spun snarl yarn, but I prefer something more fun. So this is a technique that you can do with any spinning wheel. I'm doing it on my mini spinner with a woolly winder set up and it works just beautifully. I'm setting up for the thickness of yarn I'm spinning. Now this is a plying technique, so I have two bobbins of pre-spun yarn and one bobbin is um, going to be a hand-painted roving. This is a really great technique to use some of those rainbow dyed rovings that you don't know what to do with. Make fun fur! So one bobbin is my uh, rainbow dyed roving and then I have a bobbin of plain singles for the demonstration. This technique is also a really beautiful way to use two coordinating or contrasting colors of rainbow dyed yarn. So uh, it works best if at least one of your singles is slightly overspun and you'll see why in a moment. My wheel, I'm setting up for the thickness of yarn that I'm spinning. So if I'm spinning and plying a thicker single, I'll set it up for that. This is kind of a medium weight yarn, so I've set it up with a medium intake um, and medium speed. So the thing that you want to remember when you're spinning fun fur is you want to have both of your single bobbins on opposite sides of your body so that it's easier to manipulate your singles. So on my right side, I have my uh, single that's my base ply and on my left side in this recognizable Hanson bag I have my rainbow dyed snarl bobbin. Um, you can see here that you don't need really fancy equipment to do fun techniques. You can use a Tupperware bowl or a cardboard box for plying. So I'm going to turn on my wheel and I'm going to just ply um, a length of yarn and when I come to a point where I'd like to insert a snarl I'm going to stop my wheel, take my thumb, make a little loop. These loops, I'm doing uh, similar sizes for each one of them. You could do contra contrasting sizes or um, contrasting lengths, but mine are about two inches, so I'll let it spin back on itself. I use my thumb to make a little loop, and it's just like when you're testing your yarn when you're plying it. And then I'm going to turn on my wheel and get a little twist in my yarn. I've got my loop here and I'm going to bring my base single down below the loop. So you can see I have my snarl or my twist and I'm going to take my fingers and pinch where the snarl is in my yarn and take my base loop and bring it over the top and back down and pinch my two fingers together. Turn on my wheel, ply my yarn, ta-da! So, if you check it out here, my snarl is secure in the yarn. It's very, very soft. There's no bump, so it'll be really nice to knit with. And there you go. So let's do another one. So I'm plying, I'm plying. I think I want to snarl here. So I'm gonna stop my wheel, take my thumb, make a loop, straighten out my snarl, turn on my wheel, get a little more twist in my yarn. Go below my snarl, bring my base yarn back over and around, give it a little pinch, turn on my wheel, apply my yarn. See that? Pretty easy, huh? Okay, let's do one more. I'm plying my yarn. I'm coming up to a place where I'd like to have my snarl. Stop my wheel, make a little loop with my thumb, Fluff out my snarl fiber, put a little more twist in my single, see the loop there? Bring the base yarn back over the top, give it a little pinch, pretty easy, huh? So making your own snarl yarn is really fun, you can get really creative, you can um, alternate sides that you're doing your snarls on. You can do a loop on the right side with your rainbow dyed roving. Hello. Oops. Get up here. Okay. 
And then I can do a loop on my right side. Switch my roving. Do a little loop. A little more twist in my yarn. So that way you can have alternating colors in your fun fur. So that's it. I hope you guys have fun. And if you have any more questions, you can reach me at funhousefibers.com or find me on Ravelry as Funhouse. Thanks for watching.